Each week, dozens of trains carrying crude oil roll through Wisconsin, including some running right through neighborhoods in Milwaukee. The train cars are carrying a volatile crude extracted through fracking in the upper Midwest. Should these trains derail, it can be a fiery disaster, as we saw just a few months ago in the Galena, Illinois area. Members of Wisconsin's congressional delegation have been raising concerns about the potential for disaster, and today we're looking at how well prepared Wisconsin is for this with State Railroads Commissioner Jeff Playley. Commissioner, it's good to have you on the program. Mike, always a pleasure. Well, let's talk about what's happening currently in this state. How often are these trains carrying this type of oil traveling through the state? Well, every single day. And uh, Wisconsin is kind of an epicenter for rail activity right now. Number one, our proximity to Chicago. Number two, we have an awful lot of frac sand that goes out of the state. Right. And then the byproduct of that frac sand is the oil coming to the refineries east. So we have seen, I've been in this job now roughly four years, and we have seen just a tremendous uptick uh, in, the, in the amount of, of, of rail activity. Uh, you know, the volume, the, the length, the frequency, uh, it's, it's changed dramatically. We have seen accidents in other places uh, yes. outside Galena, Illinois, in a largely rural area. We saw a terrible accident in Quebec yes. uh, of some time ago. Uh, so people see this, and they're concerned, especially when they know that some of these materials are coming right through densely populated areas. All of the trains that you mentioned came through Wisconsin. Came through uh, Wisconsin. So the one in Galena had just recently, you know, it was 20 minutes outside of Wisconsin. We've been fortunate. And, you know, I, I think we do everything we can to make sure that, that accidents don't happen here. But accidents don't know jurisdictional boundaries. So they can happen anywhere. I had somebody ask me, well, could this happen here? Of course it could. I mean, just the law of averages. But we got to do everything we can, and I think we're doing that. Uh, well, what are we doing to, to prevent this possibility? Well, uh, Brian Satula, he's the uh, chief of Wisconsin Emergency Management. He and I have been going around the state. They have a very aggressive uh, uh, program to train firefighters, to train first responders, to work with the railroads, get the railroads involved, because they're an important uh, uh, partner in all of this, you know, to make sure that if something were to happen that we're prepared, that we have the foam, that we have the manpower, that we have the equipment to, uh, to address it. What about the state of our rail infrastructure? Is it in, in good shape? What do we know about that? Yeah, I, for the most part it is. And, and, and that, that's maintained by the railroads. They, it, it's the one part of transportation that is 100% uh, maintained private, privately. And they have no... Uh, upside of letting it go, you know, letting it get out of get out of shape. Mm -hmm. So they have spent uh, hundreds of millions of dollars, uh, not just in Wisconsin, but throughout the the, the whole uh, infrastructure, to make sure that the rail is in good shape, to make sure that uh, the 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 railroad bed, that the cars, you know, that th th there's no upside to to letting it letting it not be up to. And you're asking for two more inspectors, are you not, in, in the current state budget right. discussions? Right. I, I, would, uh, I, would, I have one inspector, and we represent 72 counties. And, uh, one inspector? One inspector. And, uh, and there's an awful lot of... I mean, we have roughly 4,500 railroad crossings. We have over 3,000 miles worth of track here in the state. And uh, like I mentioned to you before, the, 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 the frequency has just gone up dramatically in the past few years. And, and it's not going to stop. I mean, some folks have said, well, with the oil, you know, price of oil, it's, it's going to change. It's not. And, and I guess let's bring this back to kind of a, the, the, the fundamental question here. How concerned should people be? Well, it, here's a statistic from the American Association of Railroads. 99.996% uh, of all rail cars get from point A to their destination without incident. Uh, but, you know, it's a, safe, it's a safe mode of transportation. Should people be concerned? Sure. Should people panic? No. Um, it is a safe mode. Uh, they operate every single day. There's a lot more stuff besides crude oil. In fact, crude oil only represents 2% of what's shipped on, uh, on the rails. And uh, so, yes, concerned, sure. Uh, prepared, absolutely. Panic, no.
All right. Railroads Commissioner Jeff Playley, we appreciate your time. Thanks very much Always for being with Always a pleasure. You bet. Coming up next on Upfront, have Wisconsin Democrats found a winning issue for the next election cycle?